welcome back to Shannon's Plants Planting Time. Today's video is about my new plants that I have gotten in the last, uh, I guess, you could say month, maybe a little more. So, I uh, thought I would share them with you. So, yeah, let's see. I can go backward in time. The first one I picked up was this Raphidophora Hi. Hi, hi, hey. Anyway, it's, uh, I found it at a big box store, which I thought was a score, but I did read that, uh, Pasta Farms was going to start releasing these, so they're a shingling plant, and you can see they just shingle up this board, and this is the first shingling plant I have ever gotten, and I was excited because I'd always seen everybody's, like, Monstera Dubia, I think it is, and, uh, some of the shingling hoyas and stuff like that and I wanted a shingling plant so I just kind of ran into this one it was about twenty dollars and so yeah I think that was definitely a score so you can see it's grown some I had to add this velcro tape on this side now this side I um tried to propagate so we'll see how that turns out but yeah so excited about that one another plant I picked up recently is this beautiful orchid um now I'm not that good with orchid <coughs> well not knowing their names and um new to the care of orchids i have a handful and i have yet to get any of them to rebloom for me or if i bought them without blooms to bloom for the first time but they are all growing foliage and seem to be doing good in that respect but um, like, once this loses its flowers, I think I'll have a hard time getting it to rebloom. Hopefully, I'm, um, getting better at that. I've been reading a lot about, um, cakey paste, and I bought some orchid bloom rebooster or something. I'll link it in the description below. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really been honest about uh keeping up with that fertilizer so i've been using my regular liquid dirt on these guys and some uh of that foliage spray um orchid foliage spray stuff um anyway i'll link that too uh, so this is a dendrobium, and that is all I know because it says dendrobium, orchid, dendrobium. And I know that is not the correct name, but that's all I have to go by. So if anybody knows what this is, please leave me a comment down below. I would really love a more thorough name for this little fella, but I think it's absolutely beautiful with these greenish colored blooms and the uh, little maroon pieces in the middle. I'll show you up close. See if you can get in on that. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful orchid. I do know that when I first got my first phalaenopsis, I did cut the the flower uh, spike back after it flowered. So I think that was a mistake. So 
I'm not going to do that with this one. When these fall off, I'm going to attempt the cakey paste and follow the directions on that. So, yeah, but I'm just getting into how much to water the orchids and stuff like that. Like, I have some wee small ones, and I know that one I have to water, like, every other day at least. And I have some catalayas and stuff like that, but, uh, that's another video. Mm. And anyway, let's see. Next, I got a Trivia Moonlight Skim Dapsis. And I'm really excited about that. Again, this was a score at a big box store. And it cost me $20, and I have been looking on Facebook by sell trade groups, and on um, Etsy and eBay and stuff, and I was getting ready to pull the trigger on a much more expensive um, plant that was much less than, than this, much less full than this one is. So... Yeah, I'm excited about this. I actually, um, when I found it, I recorded it and put it on Instagram. And I thought it was the only one that they had. But then I turned the corner and found another. So I actually bought both of them because I have some friends that want some. I think I can divide them or propagate them or whatever I decide to do. But, yeah. Trivia Moonlight. So, I'm very excited about, very excited about all of these. Very excited about that one. Now, this next plant was sold to me as something different, and I posted it on a Facebook buy, sell, trade group, and was quickly corrected by somebody, thank goodness. It was sold to me as a peacock calathea, which I kind of thought it didn't really look like one. But the girl who corrected me said it was a never, never plant, a tenanthe. And I don't know the Latin name for it. But again, it was a huge plant. I bought two of them and split them apart so that um, I can give friends one. And I think it's a beautiful plant with these beautiful markings on the leaves. Um, it's just it's just a really beautiful plant, and it is my first tenanthe um, to my collection. It's got some growth points coming up and some new leaves coming in. So yeah, big score. And it was also, I think, around $25. And rem remember, it was double the size of this. So, yeah. Uh, never, never planned. And then the last two were kind of sad situations. I got in what I had been waiting on, which was a Pubicalyx Splash. And it came to me, and it was rotted. So I have been trying to root this in water for, I don't know, two months now. Better than two months, two and a half months. And somebody suggests I switch it over to perlite. So I did very recently. And I'm going, I see that I think I have too much water in this perlite. Don't what did you think? I don't know if you can tell. There's like water and it's like all the way up to there. So I think I need to pour out some of the water. Didn't realize that until I got in a little good light in here. So this has been in the kitchen by my uh, window. South facing window. So I don't know if you have any suggestions. Please leave them down below. I'll be glad to have any suggestion on this. And then, same scenario, I got a, <laughs> this one's really pitiful, a 
Well, you yeah, like you know so in the mail, and it was rotted too. It had no roots. I don't know that this plant is going to make it. It looked really bad. It looked really bad from the beginning. I did a video. <laughs> Great, the leaf just came off. I did a video on it uh, when it looked a lot better than this, and it was potted. And I kept saying, the leaves feel really floppy. The leaves feel really floppy. Well, somebody told me if this is normal for this plant or not, you know, because I'm used to Hoya having really, uh, you know, different kind of feeling, succulently feeling leaves. And uh, anyway, so I, it was shortly after that video that I realized that this had no roots and was in very bad condition so now it is rooting in water if anybody has any suggestions about how I should root that that would be better for the Hoya please let me know and yeah I think that's it for all the plants that I have gotten in the most recent month and um yeah, so I think that is the end of the video. Thank you for tuning in, and I appreciate you continuing to watch, and please continue to watch. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on what you think of my plant haul from the last couple of months, and I will see you in the next house plant video.